Barkskins is it's based on an Annie Prue novel. Uh, it's the story of the settlement of North America along the St. Lawrence Seaway by the British, the French, the Spanish, and the Dutch, along with the many, many indigenous tribes that had called this area home for thousands and thousands of years. I play a woman named Mathilde Guéfard, who is the, she's the innkeeper, but she's a woman who's lost everything. That's the first thing about her. She's left her country, she's left her parents, she's left her friends, she's lost everything. She comes to America with her family and she loses everything again. For me, it's a gritty, bloody tale that explores a clash of cultures in a harsh, brutal time in civilization. We were told of the recent tragedy west of town. An English agent went missing. I'm here to discover his fate. Who was it who tasked you with this mission? The name doesn't matter. The name matters. What sort of a man are you? The, the thing that stuck out to me was, you know, seeing it from a, the perspective of, of not just these fictional characters, but the perspective of the native characters themselves and, and the authenticity that a native writer, Amigazi Pensau, brought to the storyline. They are really um, at the mercy of the natural environment and they're only too aware of their vulnerability and their smallness in the face of a landscape that's around them. And I think, um, you know, this uh, pandemic has certainly been a, been a reminder of our vulnerability. And our I think the issues are always the same, right? What, is, what do we have, why, what rights do we have and why aren't they equal? What agencies do we have and do, or do we have control of our body? Somehow set in the 1690s, Elwood has made those same issues really um, provocative and as as important at that time as they are now. I mean, being in a woman that in this time, like every action is a transaction. Everyone can be bought and sold. Sometimes it's a bit alarming how far or not so far we've come with women having voices. Soon the peace will be broken and the English and French will go back to the way things have always been. Throat slitting, lies and land grabs. It's kind of creepy. Um, and it's definitely a whisper story I've never heard before. But I'm telling you, when you get to the last episode, you're like, absolutely not. I must know what happens because you start to fall in love with the characters and with their, their, their journey of survival.